people. That was like get out. That was like the get out thing. Whether it's a hundred dollar delicacy or mom's homemade recipe, every dish came from somewhere. And we're getting the inside scoop. This is Secret Informant. Hello friends, uh, welcome back. I'm here with Andy, my good friend and person. We work together. I just met him today. At the Golden Swan today, because we want to do Chinese dim sum. You could definitely go from average bun all the way up to sort of like chicken feet. Chicken shopping. feet. Yeah, chicken feet. Yeah. The feet of the chicken. Sweaty. That'll be something that I. Sweaty touch the ground. Yes. It's, yeah. it's what the chickens use to touch the ground. Yeah, their feet. Yeah, their feet. You suck it like a. You suck the feet. Lollipop. Got it. We better get to it. All right. It's, those feet won't suck themselves. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> My name is Ruby. I'm one of the managers here. The car is pulled up to your table and the server just shows you what you want to have. And right. the customer gets to just pick. In Hong Kong, it's like back in the days, every right. restaurant has the car. But here we want to make it just unique and just feels like home. I can't wait. <laughs> Okay, Andy. Yep. We're gonna have some dim sum. Yep. Golden Swan is one of the few Chinese dim sum that still do it the uh, the, the push cart They're way. They're keeping the cart alive. Yep. Let's get that cart over here. Yeah, let's let's. let's call I them can't over. wait to put some feet in my mouth. So, so what we have, this thing is basically a portable. That's a, okay. That thing is hot. <laughs> Back home when I was a kid, you know, like I, my grandma would go through, go in and find different beef balls. Ah. And the further down you go, the hotter it is. So you're trying to find the biggest ball. The biggest ball for the Story best value. Story of my life. So sometimes when they push the car over, you would scream at them, be like, yo, what do you have there? And you then- You kinda gotta be like, hey, what you got? Yeah. I'll try the side ribs first. So you just stick it all in there and then spit, mm -hmm. spit the rest out. Oh, yeah. Pretty good, huh? Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you you just spit it out. Yeah. So what they do is when you marinate it for such a long period of time, yeah. it just becomes so tender. Like a lot it's of times- It's extremely when you, let's say, tender. The moisture is constantly being is replenished. Hot. Exactly. I was gonna say like the consistency of this is so tender and chewy. It's like a gummy candy or something. Yep. Almost. Yep, try that this. That was so good though. Try this, I will split it. Yeah, and I'll give it. This is kind I'll of intimidating. Give I'll give Wait, you what's half. on the inside? Oh, shrimp! Shrimp and pork and a lot of different okay, things. Okay, yeah. That, all right. I'm Soup. gonna go for this it. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm. There's, there's like a vegetable in there. Mm -hmm. yep. It's like a cooked potato if the potato was still like a little bit crunchy. Is a part of dim sum that everything is steamed? No, they have a lot of fried stuff as well. You, you heard of tasu bao, right? I, <laughs> of course, I've heard of that. It's barbecue pork bun. Instead of the steam format, this one is baked. So it looks, is there like a, like some yeah, sort of yeah. frosting? It's kind of like a frosting. Yeah. It's sweet. It's egg, egg white. So inside, it's barbecue pork. Are you gonna, okay, there he goes. Oh, that's fantastic. It is like a sugary thing. Yep. It's like an iced donut, but with an extra bonus of delicious pork inside. Yep. You gotta try this. What's not to like? Oh, it's like a pork dessert. Chicken feet, save the best for last. Now listen, man, I fully support the eating of chicken feet. I think I just like, it looks like a little baby ham and you're eating it. <laughs> what did you, did you just stick the whole thing in your mouth? So you're telling me to take this whole thing and just stick the whole thing in my mouth. Okay, you're just only skin. eating the skin. You're only eating the skin. So you have to spit out all the bones. Oh my gosh, this is weird. I'm, I'm actually kind of weirded out by this. All right, here we go. Yep, yeah, you just 
Spit out the bones. Yeah, you just spit out the bone. It tastes really good. The flavor was delicious. Yeah. The fact that I had just put the appendage of an animal into my mouth was completely forgotten as soon as I tasted the flavor and I was like, oh, this is delicious. Right. Would I get it again? I don't know. I feel like that's just like a lot of work if I'm being honest. Nope. Yep. So what's happened? What happens now? We got to get out of here. We... we have yet more authentic Chinese uh, culture to experience. Uh 通常我們都不會因為我們一整天要整很多人 Oh, 就一定要有一組。所以就想將台山的特色。係啦。將佢帶過來溫哥華呢度。哦。哇。哇。Whoa. Whoa. 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 Because we're, we're a happy family. family. Yeah, we're happy, happy together. Family. I brought you here because I'm from a city called Hoi Ping. Hoi Ping. We, we have certain dishes that is, is sort of very, pretty famous. Right. Mud eel clay pot rice. Mud eel. Mud eel. I'm not going to lie to you, Andy. That uh, sounds not super appetizing. If you've you seen You could have sold it a little better. I could have, but if you've seen it. If I saw I, it. I think they're kind of cute. This one takes a long time to make. This one, I mean, they, they could be out of stock at any given moment. Right. It's really popular. We should probably start with this. And then we'll get into the, uh, you're the, the, you're the swamp the, eel. You're the boss. I don't know. What, 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 they don't have an English name for it, so we pretty much have to invent the name on the spot. Flat chicken, flat flat fried it's, sticky sticky rice chicken. It's, it's chicken on sticky rice. Like normally when you see fried chicken, it looks like there's kind of like a thick like crust on it. But with this, you can tell that it's fried. There's a crust on it. Mm -hmm. Like the skin itself is crispy. Yep. I'm just gonna take the whole bite. Yeah, the whole thing? This is a one biter. Mine's not, but I'm going, no, oh, I shouldn't. Okay, this I'm going a, for it. This is a one biter. Mwah! Oh! So much <laughs> Let me show you how it's really done. Mmm. 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 I took too big of a bite. This thing is really good. I can't talk. This thing is really good. Once you take the first bite, you want to finish the whole dish then right away again. And the sticky rice itself has its own like rich, sweet, it's just like the pure. Like most of the time when you eat rice, deliciousness. 
Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. What is it about the muddy or swamp eel that makes it sort of a delicacy? It's indigenous to where we're from. Mm. Our hometowns is laced with like a lot of rivers. In a lot of villages, kids or adults, they would go into the field with a flashlight on their head and they would go and catch mud eels and frogs, or toads, frogs. Wow. With and their bare hands. those are, yeah, those are delicacies. All right. So dig in, what, are chopsticks? Yeah. Yep, with a chopstick. Don't use a spoon, please don't use a spoon. It's a, it's a chopstick affair. It's a chopstick affair. That sounds like, that's, that sounds like a movie from the 50s. All right, well, uh, eels, uh, eels I, away. I started already. Eels away. Oh, dang. Mmm, like a smoky flavor. It's almost like barbecue it, uh, style. But then there's also this like tender. <laughs> there's also. <laughs> Is that how you taste food, man? Like, it helps. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for exposing me to this wondrous food here today. You're welcome. And uh, <laughs> I think we're all enriched for it. I think wait until you get to Asia. Yes. That's that's where we're gonna really have some amazing like crazy. Can't wait. All right, well, see you later, Andy. Are we, are we, are we, are we exiting? These are for you. Thanks for watching. If you liked that episode of Secret Informant, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you can catch the new episodes as soon as they launch. Huge thanks to our backers on Kickstarter for making the show possible. Rewards are coming soon. Stay tuned. And if you want to know more or just want to see what the team is up to, you can follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I assume that you're going to pay for my portion as well. Nope. So we're not friends. We're, we're pretty that good. was a joke. Yeah. I'm actually still here. <laughs> and I will pay for you when I'm dead.